All right, so let's talk about the movie Godzilla Minus One. We finally got the chance to watch this movie, and I had been waiting to watch this movie. I had been hearing so much hype. So many people were saying this is the movie to watch. This is the movie of the year. And I got to say, they probably are right, because I really do think this is definitely my top five possibly top three could be the best movie of the year you know it's interesting because there is a time when you're making these lists and all of this and then you're just like well i don't know if anything's going to come out anymore especially with a couple of weeks left in the year that's really going to top my top five and then you see a movie like godzilla minus one and you're just like uh, i gotta rethink all of this now and that's exactly where i am right now with the film so this film is a film that i think should be a teaching point for a lot of things in the industry right now uh, especially the American cinema industry. It is a film that doesn't have such an insane budget, although the numbers are a little bit all over the place of what exactly the budget is, but it went on to make a pretty decent amount of money so far, over $64 million apparently at the uh, worldwide box office. So the film is directed by Takashi Yamakazi, and in this film you have uh, Ryunosuke Kamiki starring with Minami Hamabe, Yuki Yamada, Munetaka Aoki, Hidetaka Yoshioka, Sakura Ando, which we actually saw recently in the other film, Monster, which we will still have to do a review for. And you have Kuranosuke Sasaki. And this film basically follows towards the end of World War II as we follow Kamikaze pilot named Koichi, who pretty much is faking that he is having some troubles with uh, his plane and all of this, lands in Odo Island. And in Odo Island, we see Godzilla for the first time, a sort of smaller creature of sorts when we first see Godzilla. Eventually, we see as time progresses that Godzilla keeps returning, and we also see that things are about to get very, very bad in Japan. And so this film follows these characters as they sort of navigate these feelings of post-war and dealing with a monster like Godzilla and everything that comes with that, which is going to be the aftermath that the monster leaves. Because as we know, Godzilla is a monster of radiation. Radiation, of course, left over once he begins terrorizing wherever he is. So if you survived that first spot with Godzilla, you still have that radiation, however, to deal with. And I really enjoyed how this film works in a way where the Godzilla story can be sides you know like the Godzilla scenes are incredible and I'll talk about them in a bit but the human aspect story of it and the effects that the war had on Japan especially a movie like this coming out right after Oppenheimer also came out it is sort of like people say the spiritual successor of it because we do see the ramifications that the U.S. did to Japan after dropping the war uh, bomb which just neutralized everything in its path and it's still something that has affected Japan to this day it is really something to see a movie like Godzilla minus one that sort of addresses all of those horrors that are left after a war and I mean it's just a timely um, release I feel with everything going on in the world right now uh, but I really do think that the filmmakers, the actors, and everybody involved here just did an amazing job at really showcasing a story that is definitely going to be one of those stories I think people will keep coming back to. This is definitely, as Guillermo del Toro says, top three, top two Godzilla movies of all time because I was not expecting to be like crying during this film honestly when i first heard about it and i'm not knocking any other godzilla movie i do enjoy all of the godzilla movies i think they offer something different when it comes to all of that i really do think that the godzilla movie like godzilla versus Kong that's coming out next year i'm hyped i'm ready to see that film but that's a whole other type of film for me and i know what i'm getting into with that where this can be its own film as well and still work it just adds good so i'm not saying or knocking any of the godzilla movies out i'm just just saying that this is a different Godzilla movie than I was used to and it definitely shows that so this is going for best visual effects apparently at the 96 Academy Awards and I definitely see it there are some moments in here when Godzilla begins to come out of the water or is just moving through certain buildings all of that it's just insane how was this accomplished and I think something that was so amazing as well here is that they use a lot of callbacks to the original film especially the score when Godzilla first appears oh man I think that is one of the best moments of the year so far just an incredible incredible sight to see this was a film i said i have to see that on the big screen i'm not watching this at home for the first time like i'll still watch it but i need to see it on the big screen for the first time and i think it is just incredible to see and this apparently it was in released to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the film 
And I mean, this is just a great, great film for that. So I'm definitely excited to see where we go with this uh, film next. It does end in a way where I could see there being more, but we'll talk about that in my ending explain, which is going to be coming out later this week. So stay tuned for that. But overall, I think Godzilla Minus One is one of those films that is going to be looked back on as a sort of turning point for cinema because I don't see us not seeing this film and being like, okay, let's keep doing how we were doing. No, this is a film that's here to teach and make Make a movement that is going to be everlasting. So I'm excited to see what everybody thinks. Overall, we love the human story of it. We thought the acting was great. The filmmaking was incredible. The cinematography, the camera work, all of that. The monster scenes with Godzilla were just breathtaking. And we give Godzilla a 5 out of 5. One of our 5 out of 5 movies of the year. And we definitely have put this on our top 5 for sure. We'll be finishing our list pretty soon. We still got a couple of movies to watch before the end of the year that we haven't watched. That could definitely be on the top 20. So we definitely want to make that list but first we have to watch those movies so stay tuned for that but anyways let me know your thoughts and opinions on godzilla minus one are you excited for what the future holds for godzilla did you enjoy this movie or did you not if you didn't that's fine let me know why and yeah that's gonna do it for me we are running giveaways on our instagram channel all throughout the end of the year so if you want to enter that make sure you go over there on our instagram Follow us and turn the notification on because we will be starting one giveaway this week and another one next week. Two big giveaways before the end of the year, which will be these prize packages, which will include movies, posters, other movie stuff and all that good stuff. So make sure you are tuning into that. But as always, that's going to do it for me. You can follow us on Instagram. You can follow us on Twitter, TikTok. Our website, culturelixture.com as well, where we post some articles, reviews and things we might not get to around into the channel. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. Like I said. Godzilla minus one really did it for me. I'm excited to see how this is going to um, do in the future. I really am excited to see what the director of this film will do next. They apparently have a lot of things they would like to work on. So I'm definitely excited to see that for sure. And just exactly what this uh, film will do for the future. Because I, like I said, this is a film that is going to change things. So I'm excited. But anyways, as always... I'll see all of you next time. Make sure you're following us. Make sure you're subscribed. Turn that notification bell on. Following us on all the social media. Like I said, Instagram, we're going to be doing some giveaways for the end of the year. We're going to have about four winners total, one grand prize winner. So make sure you're following us over there when the giveaway starts tomorrow. But as always, I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Stay positive.